Hi friends, welcome to Learn with Mr. Nova. In this video, we are going to discuss about the modem, also what a modem is all about, beginning from its definition. Uh, it's use uh, the various types of modem and why we need a modem in a computer network. So, um, yourself stay tuned and watch the video till the end and if, the, if this is your first time visiting the channel you can kindly subscribe like and click the notification icon so that you won't miss anything out okay if you have done so then we can kick start now i'll begin with the definition what the modem simply stands for and uh, the next i'll move to the uses of a modem so let's begin with the definition okay so what is a modem? A modem is simply a box that connects your home network to the wider internet. So there are two topology diagrams here in on the screen. We have the first topology diagram and the second topology diagram. I'm going to clearly explain why these topology diagrams are different. Okay. A modem is simply a box that connects your home network to the wider internet. This is a modem and this is another modem from the diagram. Okay, technically speaking, a modem is uh, fundamentally more important than a router because you can find a modem on a router all are connected to the internet because uh, you won't be able to connect to the internet without one. However, as consumers collectively move away from the standard computer and rely on handheld devices such as uh, the smartphones and tablets and many more, having a Wi-Fi connection can seem as crucial as water. Unlike a router, a modem doesn't provide your provide your home with Wi-Fi connectivity. It's a router that does so. Okay, so a modem just simply acts as a digital translator, taking information signals from the cable line, information signals from the cable line of your ISP, and translating it such that the router can understand and distribute to your network. Okay, so um. I'm going to begin uh, the next aspect I'm going to talk about are the uses of a modem. So from a definition, a modem is a box that connects your home network to the wider internet. Now, what is the use of a modem? A modem simply modulates and demodulates electrical signals. It modulates and demodulates electrical signals, you know, from the uh, from the spelling of a modem is just an acronym for modulation and demodulation. Okay, now I'm going to clearly explain what modulation is all about and what demodulation is all about. So a modem modulates and demodulates electrical signals. That is, uh, it, uh, it converts the analog signals from the ISP. Let's take, for example, let's use this topology diagram we have here, the second topology diagram. So a modem simply converts the analog signals being sent from the ISP cable, the analog signals sent here, and convert them to digital signals and then send to your computer. That's some, simply what the modem does. And this process is called modulation. Taking the analog signals from the ISP cable line and converting them into digital signals, then send to your computer. And uh, it can equally demodulate. That is, it sends, so uh, it still converts the digital signals of the computer into the analog signals and send to the analog uh, telephone line that is back to the ISP and that is why there, there can be communication. Okay, now um, I'm going to explain to you why we have a router in the first diagram and why a router is not necessary in the second diagram. But before I move to that, let's talk about the types of modem. Okay. So basically, there are three types of modem. We have the, the cable modem, we have the digital subscriber line modem, and uh, we have the, the dial-up modem. So these are the three types of modem that exist, the cable modem, the digital subscriber line modem, and the dial-up modem. And most of all of this modem, you simply use a cable line. That's a cable need to be connected. That's an ISP cable need to be connected to them. Okay, now uh, the last aspect I'm going to talk about is why do we need a modem in a network? 
So if you want internet in your home or office, you need a modem. A modem takes the analog internet signals from your internet service provider and turn them into digital internet signals and distribute. You know, it takes the analog internet signals and turn them, convert them into digital internet signals. And uh, that's just what a router translates and distribute to your devices. Okay, now let me explain to you why these two topology diagrams are different. So if you only have uh, one device that you need to connect to the internet, like in the second topology diagram here, we have just a PC that needs to be connected to the internet, then you need a modem. And uh, it's useless for you to include a router in your topology diagram or in setting up your network because uh, it's a, it will be a little bit costlier. So if you have just a single device that needs to be connected to the internet, just like a PC, for example, or a laptop, then a modem is just the only device that is uh, important. But if you have many more devices that need to be connected to the internet, let's say you need your smartphone, you need your laptop, you need a printer, you need a... Uh, uh, a scanner and many more uh, network devices then obviously you need a router because a router provides uh, Wi-Fi connectivity in which those devices can be connected to the internet so that's just differences between this first topology diagram and the second topology diagram in the first topology diagram many more devices need to be connected to the internet and that is why we need a router and that is the purpose of a router and uh, in the second topology diagram, just a PC that needs to be connected to the internet. So uh, a router in the second topology diagram is not necessary because it's just going to increase cost without, but the same work is being uh, done. Okay, now what you need to know about a modem is most modem simply have just uh, two and in some cases three ports. You know, the first port can be used as a connection from the ISP cable line to the modem. And the second port is used to connect to the uh, to the PC or to the router. And in some cases, you have the power cable, the power uh, port, where you plug in the, the, the charger of the modem and in that light. So modem simply have... Uh, a similar number of spots as compared to uh, routers okay and the cost of a modem is obviously cheaper as compared to that of routers so modem are cheaper and have smaller number of spots as compared to routers while routers are costlier and have a greater number of spots as compared to a uh, modem and so i believe that uh, from the video you have half a glimpse of what a modem is all about a modem is simply a box that connects your home network to the wider internet. The uses of a modem, a modem is used to modulate and demodulate. Modulate simply means converts analog signals into digital signals. And demodulate simply means converts digital signals back into analog signals. And the various types of modems, which are the cable modem, the digital subscriber line modem, and the dialog modem. I believe in some videos in the future, I'm going to clearly explain to you what the cable modem is all about, the digital subscriber line modem, and the dialog modem, how they do function. Okay, and um, lastly, I believe, why you need a modem? Now, I'll just simply explain why you need a modem. If you have a few devices to be connected to the internet, let's say just a single device, like just your PC, then this is how your, uh, your, your setup will simply look like. From the ISP cable line connected to the modem and the modem, you simply need to connect your PC to your modem and the PC gets internet connection. But if you need many more devices to be connected, like let's say you need a smartphone, you need a printer, you need uh, many more uh, office equipment to be connected to the internet, then you simply need a router. So this is how your setup will simply look like. That is from the ISP to the modem. And from the modem, you need a cable to be connected to the router. And from the router, um, from the router now, 
this just is a symbol for Wi-Fi connectivity. The Wi-Fi provides Wi-Fi connectivity such that uh, each of these devices can detect the signals can be distributed to each of these devices. And uh, if you can, you have a password of the network, then you can lock key in the password and you get connected to the internet. Okay, so I hope the video is uh, helpful and important. And if you have gained something new from it, simply to promote the channel, just simply uh, subscribe if you haven't done so. And uh, you can leave a feedback at the comment section. So thanks and see you in my next video.